everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is the very, very beginning of April, so I thought why not bring you one of my favourites videos. Now this is going to be the first favourites video that I've actually done, but I know that like when this goes live it might be like the middle of April sort of thing, but I kind of just want to get into the swing of it and the ball rolling with it and stuff because I really want this to be something that I do every month now. That's what I'm going to do for you today, my match favourites, which is obviously very, very self-explanatory, my favourite products that I've used throughout March, products including fashion, well to be honest anything, fashion, beauty, um, anything that I've just enjoyed doing or loving or what Whatever. so yeah I'm just gonna get started with it I've only got a few this time because I can just move some things together and I had a little bit of a think about all the things that I have been enjoying this month Aww. come on then I'm joined by my dog you're the right soul can't you so yeah I've just thrown a few things together for now and I'll get started and show you which ones I have been loving for the month of March I thought I would kick this off with the beauty and skincare products because obviously that's something that I am obviously in love with, very very passionate about using and I am literally buying things constantly and trying them out. So I'm going to show you the ones that I've got for this month and let you know what I've been enjoying and why and whatnot. So yeah, rather than me blabbering I'm just going to get started. First product which you may have seen me use in a few of my videos and also maybe talk about a little bit was some of the Lee Stafford Cocoa Local range and it is the coconut spritz um, milk slash oil for your hair which is effectively just another version of like your argan oil or something like that. I love using argan oils on my hair. I think that I can tell, my hair can tell when I don't use it. Like it makes such a big difference to my hair now. But I got sent this one by the lovely guys at like MB NBPR I think it was. I, as, along with like the rest of the range and I've been loving using the whole entire range but this particular product obviously it lasts a little bit longer than your average shampoo and conditioner and it is literally just a incredibly coconut smelling product which acts as looks like a milk acts like an oil it says on it and that is exactly what it does it leaves my hair feeling so so soft and just lovely and I absolutely love it I think this probably retails like quite cheap as well obviously link all these products below but I just find that using this on my hair is just amazing and it's as good as an argan oil so obviously I recommend it it's really good and yeah I recommend you guys try it next I will just quickly move on to skincare now this is a product that I also got given when I went to London Fashion Weekend a few weeks ago and it was in like your goodie bag sort of thing so I thought I'll give it a go anyway. It's obviously a good product. It's by Garnier and it's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Moisturiser and it is literally amazing. It smells like pomegranates and it's so good. I use this every night on my face um, before I go to bed and it's really, really hydrating. I know this says that it's the day moisturiser but I just find it better to use at night because I, I sometimes find that I've got extremely problematic skin. Like it can't have too much of a oily product on it because it needs to just breathe a lot of the time. It's already greasy enough as it is without adding far too much product to it. So yeah, I just love this. I literally use like a teeniest amount, like a five piece sized amount and then just rub it onto my face. It comes out white and it dries in and it just leaves my skin feeling amazing as well as like really, really nice smelling as well. And this is a new product from like Garnier as well. And I'm pretty sure it will be retailing extremely cheap. Again, I'll link it below so you can check it out. But honestly, I recommend trying it. It is amazing. Next, I'll move on to another skincare product which you might have seen me talking about a little bit in like a haul or something earlier on in the month or like last month or something like that. It is from The Body Shop and it is the Body Shop's Wonder Blur Moisturiser Primer. And I did mention this, I think, in one of my videos and you've definitely used it in a Get Ready With Me recently. Now, I did talk about the fact that I struggle with primers and I've not really found one that has really been my thing and really agreed with me and I actually found the benefit of it. So when I picked this one up, I I wanted kind of what both of the elements of it do, so the moisturising element and also the priming element, mainly the priming element of it. And obviously body shop products are always really good and I just love this product. It comes out obviously like your basic primer, so quite like mattified, but it's still really, really hydrating for the skin. Like I find that although it's quite primer, so sometimes quite dry it, this definitely does not have that effect on my skin at all. It leaves my skin feeling so nice still. And I literally, I can feel like the air in this tube now. I know that it's getting towards the end and I haven't even had it that long, but I think that this is going to be a repurchase of mine. I absolutely love it. I use it every single day, every single time I put my makeup on. So if I'm going on a night out, I'll put this on underneath because I know it stays on. Also started wearing it. This is the ultimate test. Started wearing it before I go for night shifts as well and then put my makeup on top of it and it leaves my makeup on a lot better than it would have done beforehand and I just literally swear by it now. It is like the primer that I've been looking for. So if you two are having like the same sort of problem where you've not really found a primer that's really agreed with you or really showed you what everybody else seems to be so like excited about with a primer, then why don't you go try this one? I'll just a link it below as well. It is a little bit pricey but like not more pricey than your average say benefit 
professional or whatever sort of product. So yeah, I'll leave it below and then I would recommend that you check it out because honestly it is so good. Next product I'm going to talk to you about is just a really, really basic one which we all need in our day to day routines, makeup wise, skincare wise, everything. And I love a good lipstick, don't get me wrong. But I mean, you always need a good lip balm, especially to put on before sleeping, even just in the morning when you're just like, having your breakfast or whatever, just popping a bit of lip balm on just to keep your lips nice and moist and things to prepare for the amount of lipstick you're going to wear through the day, like me. And I've just found that this one in particular has been one that I have literally just absolutely loved using. Like I actually enjoy putting it on my lips. And it is a Nivea Essential Care, very, very basic lip product, but I literally just love it. It is the most simple lip balm ever, but it is literally the most hydrating lip balm. I am obsessed with it. I'm sure this will be like a pound, like really, really cheap. So obviously this is a product for everybody. It's really, really good. I've actually seen it in my brother's bedroom upstairs because it literally you can't go wrong with it. So yeah, I would recommend giving this a go if you are struggling struggling with more of like chapped lips or whatever this will literally save your lips it is amazing okay the next product i'm just going to move on to makeup now i've just got a couple of things makeup wise that i want to talk to you about first one is this kiko all stars face palette which i am literally obsessed with right now you may have seen in my top 10 essentials video which was like the first video i ever did here on my channel i think i went on and on and on in that video about the bourgeois chocolate palette bronzer it's literally it's been my holy grail bronzer for a really long time now until i got sent this one by the lovely guys at Kiko and it is the All Stars Face Palette in Beauty Coral and I am just obsessed with it. It's a quad palette so obviously it's got like your bronzer, your highlight and your blushing. I never use the blusher, don't get me wrong, but I do use the other two products a lot and I am literally crazy for it. It is such a good palette and I'm sure it's incredible value. I'm thinking this will probably be about £15. Again, I'll link it below so you can check it out yourselves. But I just find the matte shade of the bronzer in this is just the best colour and I also so they're using the highlight like underneath my eyes and stuff. It's not like your average glittery highlight, it's like a, a nice matte, sort of just like a powder shaded highlight, but I really enjoy using it. I literally reach for this palette every single day now without fail, and I'm just really enjoying it. Like I really like Kiko products, they're so good, uh, amazing value for money and I just really like it, like honestly. And finally, if you know me, obviously I could not have done a favourites video without including a lipstick. It is literally my favourite product ever to use. I am obsessed with using lipsticks. I am literally, have no fear, I would wear any colour, I would try anything, I am not bothered. And I just wanted to show you what my favourite for this month has definitely been. As you may have seen on my Instagram, I wear a lot of nudes nowadays, a lot of nude coloured lipsticks, a lot of matte lipsticks, and they're mainly MAC. So I'm gonna just like continue that really with telling you about my one favourite at the moment. And it is MAC Whirl, which you will have seen on my recent MAC uh, lipsticks video. And I'm just obsessed with it. I use, I wear this on pretty much every single night out I go on. I just think you cannot go wrong with an effortless nude lipstick. It, they make, they tie every outfit together. They just look amazing. And obviously it's matte and I'm just obsessed with matte lipsticks. And Whirl is just a colour, a shade that I would recommend that everybody has in their collection. It is just amazing. It's obviously like a darker, a darker I mean, much darker than my like velvet teddy and I just love it so much like I don't know what I wore before I bought this like seriously when I think about it I really don't know what I wore <laughs> honestly recommend trying out well if any of you guys have any more recommendations of any other MAC lipsticks that you think I should try down in the comments below just leave them there and I will obviously go and check them out and see if, if I've already got them or if I feel like I need to add it to my collection then I literally will do that <laughs> Now I'm just going to quickly move on to a couple of the fashion pieces that I've decided to put in my favourites this month. And starting off with my trusty Michael Kors bag with a strap, a shoulder strap like this. And I am just crazy for this bag. I got it for Christmas off my mum and it's in this gorgeous like top colour I'd say, mauve top, whatever, mauve colour. Kind of similar to my top actually, but a bit more pink. And I am just obsessed with it. I think now it's coming into spring and I'm wearing like a lot brighter colours and things. I like adding this bag to most things. Like I find that it just adds that extra pop of colour. Like I'm really enjoying like colour clashing at the minute. I think it kind of looks really cool and like really it's going to be very spring I think and very summer but I'm just really loving this bag I think because it's not bright it's quite like a subtle it just ties everything together perfectly I love the gold hardware the gold zip it just looks so effortless and it fits a lot in surprisingly like usually when I go out I usually take this with me I have my big DK and my purse which usually fits the entirety like of the length of this I have my camera in it I have my umbrella in it usually and then bits of makeup and my phone which is quite a size in itself so I mean yeah I could fit a lot in this bag and yeah granted it is quite bulky at times because of that reason I do feel like 
it fits so much in that you literally can't go wrong with it. I'm also really just loving using bags like this at the moment as opposed to like a handbag because I just find that they're so much easier to like just throw on, throw on over anything, throw on over your shoulder. Doorbell. Oh. Doorbell, typical. What was I saying? So yeah, I just love this bag. Like, it's obviously like the most effortless bag. Michael Kors is a brand that's kind of just like exploded over the last few years and everyone seems to have products from Michael Kors. I feel like I need probably more bags like this in my collection. I just love like this effortless like look where you can just sling it over your body like so. So you've got it like. Next I wanna to talk to you about a jacket that I have been putting on my Instagram a few times recently because I am literally just obsessed with it. And it is this misguided suede teal jacket and I am just crazy obsessed with it. It's like a cropped biker style but it's suede and in this just incredible colour and I just think that this is the most perfect staple item for spring, I just think it's so perfect. The colour to me is just ideal, it makes everything pop, I think in particular it would go brilliantly with things that I'm wearing today like this um, nude sort of body and it just goes great with black, it goes great with white, it just goes, it's just perfect. Like I wore it the other night to go out for drinks, just like casual drinks and it literally just tied the whole outfit together and made it that little bit more dressy than it was already and I just think it's perfect. Also I think this was about £40 from Misguided but I think that is completely amazing value. It's suede as well which is just great, obviously not real suede but it is really good quality material and it's just like nice and thin and be perfect for like even in summer when it's those colder evenings where you just want something bright and bold and like statement to chuck on over like a little summer dress or like a little play suit or something it'll just be so effortless and I am just obsessed with it I love it so much and it was actually in the fro who I actually got inspired to buy this from as always she is like the biggest inspiration to me ever so yeah I couldn't thank her enough for like showing me that this jacket existed but yeah I'll also link this below because I've seen a lot of people on my Instagram commenting in about how nice it is and stuff so obviously if you want to get your hands on it too I'll link it below next I couldn't really do a favourites video without talking to you about my ultimate favourite jacket at the moment now that one I love don't get me wrong but this one I have been wearing constantly and you probably guess which one it is it is my Primark trench coat and I am absolutely obsessed with this coat I cannot believe that it cost what it did I've spoken about this I think in one of my fashion hauls recently and it is from Primark it was £14.50 which is insane no it wasn't in the sale or anything like that it's just amazing it's like really thin material just absolutely like the most stylish effortless jacket that you could possibly want it is just amazing like so chic so oh just amazing the amount of words I could use to describe this jacket would be literally the longest list ever I'm just obsessed with it and I couldn't recommend that you all go and check out Primark enough for little bargains like this because I'm sure this is not the only thing that you could grab that would be amazing like a style steal I'm crazy for it it's the nicest material it's really soft it's got pockets it's got like nice buttons which to be honest I don't do it up I just leave it open and like have it like that it's got um, ties for on the middle if you wanted to do it up and it is just literally the most amazing jacket you'll probably have seen it on like weekly vlogs and things recently anyway I am just crazy for it and I couldn't recommend getting your hands on this enough it is amazing okay then guys that is all of my March favourites I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video I really enjoyed putting this one together and like I said I definitely want to continue doing things like this more in the future so obviously I'll be doing this at the end of this month as well hope you've enjoyed it obviously I will leave all of the products down in the description box links where you can get them all and things like that. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video which will be really soon. Bye guys!